Hey guys, today's play Beyond Good and Evil 20th Anniversary Edition. So this is an action adventure game originally released in 2003 by Ubisoft. Um, so when it first came out, it didn't get that much attention, I don't think. But then later on, in retrospect, many people consider it to be one of the best action adventure games of its era. And uh, some consider it to be one of the greatest of all time. Uh, for me, I have played the HD remaster. So there was an HD remaster of this game already released uh, back in 2011, I think, for the Xbox 360 and PS3. So that's the version I played. Um, but now we get the 20th anniversary edition, which actually came out 21 years after uh, this this version came out 2024 this year. Um, so this one added, you know, 4K um, graphical updates and a few other extras. Uh, I'm actually curious to see what difference this version has over the previous HD remaster, because this is the second remaster this game has gotten. Right. There was an HD remaster for um, PS3, like I played in 2011. So I wonder um, how this one is uh, going to be even, you know, another remaster on top of those, on top of the HD remaster. I'm not sure how that goes. But this one has a speedrun version as well, which is really interesting. That's a new uh, addition that they added, the speedrun version. But I'm not going to go with that. Let's go with new game here. And I'm also playing on computer, which I didn't have it on computer before. I've had it on PS3. And as you guys may or may not know, PS3 is, uh, yeah, it's like I have to hook it up again, right? If I want to play PS3 games, and it's just kind of annoying because, uh, well, it's considered uh, kind of an outdated console now, right? So, yeah, it's, if I did want to play Beyond Good and Evil HD, it's kind of a hassle to play it because I have to hook up my PS3 and everything. So uh, it is nice to have it on PC, right? It's just easier to access for me than PS3. And then the 20th anniversary edition would be a nice way to do that. Just to access it, access it on uh, PC and uh, remastered graphics. So. Okay, so I guess these graphics are considered pretty good when it first came out back in 2003. Uh, so you play as this girl. I uh, forget what her name is. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game. But uh, yeah, let's see. Info, what we got? CDs here? Game save disk. Balances, okay, so this is my credit card. Synthetic atom atomic compressor. Okay, so that's my inventory. That's how I compress everything into my inventory. You know what? That's cool that this game actually thought of that. Most RPG games or adventure games just put everything in your inventory. They don't think about how it actually works in game. Uh, they just give you that mechanic, but it's nice to see that this game actually thought about how all those items actually fit in your inventory. Alright, so this is uh, the beginning of the game. I uh, start out as a uh, playing with girl, fighting with uh, little monsters. And yeah, the graphics are remastered, but obviously you guys can tell that uh, they're a product of their era. So, you know, it's not a remake, right? It's a remaster. So you guys can still easily tell that this, this game came out in the uh, early to mid 2000s from the graphics. Yeah, very um, PS2 game era of the graphics. I'm using a torch to fight these guys. Oh man, where do these monsters come from? Monsters to death. Ah, uh, there we go. Finally. Oh, we have a bunch of misfit friends there. No. Tentacles. Anything but tentacles. It's a Sarlacc type creature. It's been a while since I played the HD version, but uh, yeah, I do remember something like this happening. Oh, the pig. Oh my god. I think this was created by the same designer as Rayman, right? Oh, there we go. Busted out. I dodge this.
Okay, what do you do here? Get this. We're going to be able to pay to get the hovercraft fixed with that. Oh my god, this pig has definitely been remastered pretty, me, will ya? <laughs> okay, yeah. pretty thoroughly. I can see the, gli the light glistening off this pig skin. Daramis. Bueno, Yid, but be careful. I did a checkup on you after your fight, and I noticed something got inside your psycho karma. Okay. It's this. Alpha sections, patrol 21, all is clear. You may go up without fear. Oh. Who's this guy? What? Okay. Okay. You can take these uh this elevator then. Like I guess she, I mean, she looks like Avril Lavigne, but I guess that kind of makes sense to the law when she's in the early 2000s, early to mid 2000s, so she looks kind of like Avril Lavigne. Here is where some of the children whose parents have been captured by the Dons have been taken in by two devoted and courageous Hillians. Miss, a word for our listeners. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, well you guys are not what I'd call as fast as a speeding bullet. Keep doing nothing. And next time, there'll be nothing left here to save. Cut. Hey, Pop, stay zen. Don't get your snout bent out of shape. All right, boys, that's a wrap. Pack it up. Thanks, Paige. If it wasn't for you, I... I... Passed out. Okay. Anthropomorphic animals everywhere. Still no power. Nope. Now that yeah, I remember that was all the rage in the uh, 90s and 2000s, actually. The the anthropomorphic animals were everywhere. What a pessimist, you faithful servant. Secundo has found the answer to your money problem. Does he have a freaking Secundo, outlet we're in stuck his crotch? No hovercraft, his crotch was like. Shield. <laughs> Optima has come. Has like power the outlets in his crotch. Is empty. Units you want I don't know, maybe just the way his pants are designed, but man, yes, Listen look at this. that. Look at his pants. He's got power outlets in his crotch. You can plug something into his crotch right there. <laughs> That's funny. You can plug some, uh, some chargers into his crotch. Not another one of your hair brain plans, Segundo. Gonna have to recheck your circuits. Who could possibly be interested in that kind of thing? We're in the middle of a war, son. You understand nada, bacon breath. Control of the species is mucho importante. Yet you go get your camera back, and we'll see if Secundo has <laughs> Still can't get over his crotch. Ciao. Just plug uh, some battery chargers into his crotch. Jade. I put it right over there. I mean, seriously, he had like some power outlet in his crotch. All right, is that a camera? I'll take that. What a newfangled well, yeah. camera. Take a picture, okay. Ooh, I got photo mode. Send to side Hi, center. Jade. I see Secundo already. Okay, cool. So I can like take a picture of anything really. That's cool. I guess um nowadays, like this game doesn't seem like too crazy, but Don't I guess back in the day, a lot of the, the mechanics in this game were fresh. Did, did the Jews turn back on? Take many pictures of animals. Okay. Yeah. Take pictures of animals. Alright. 
wonder what engine this is using for this remaster. Oh my gosh, he's walking around jogging everywhere. Alright, he's like, Discount Avril Lavigne. That's what she looks like. Discount Avril Lavigne. Oh, what is this? A taco? Bravo, Yid. <laughs> yep, got some more tacos. Starcos. They're called Starcos. And there's one in here, too. Apparently still edible. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Where are these people fly? There we go. Thank you, Jade. Flies, Flies are just justly disliked. Gotcha. Well, let me go upstairs first. No juice. No juice. We need juice for that. Oh, what's this? He's sleeping. Mm, a bunch of pictures. It's those doms that took away our parents, huh, Jake? Yeah, but they may still be alive. Pictures here. Remember when people have physical photographs? He's sleeping. It's like some kind of photography dark room. Remember back in the back in these in those days there was dark rooms for developing your pictures. Yes. No juice. No juice. No juice. Good thing we got the alpha sections to protect us. Be brave. We've gotta stay strong. Whoa, look at this, a hidden computer. Code? Uh, I don't know what code. Oh. Okay. No juice. No juice. Why well, do you need juice to push buttons anyways? Is he talking about power? <laughs> I need some more juice for the push buttons. Why is this too far? Why is this too far? It's not too far. No juice. Okay, what are these things? Get closer. Uh oh. Let's move up and not get too close. Oh shit. Oh no, did I die? Oh my god. I got too close to that thing. These things, if you get too close, they'll kill you. Careful. Okay. Vorax. Okay, Yid. I transferred the dinero to the stinking Optima service. Oh yeah, I got some juice. Thank you for choosing Optimus Service. Alright, got juice. All I need was to take pictures of those things, I guess. Somehow me taking pictures of those things gives me juice. I'm gonna go make Press sure the everything's working. Come down here as soon as you can. Looks like there's a mission for you. Jade reporting. Mission M disc standing by. Okay. Um, wait, I want to see uh, what places were open here. Oh, hangar. Sure, let's check it out. Page's workshop. 
Nothing. Yeah, the rest of these Nothing. That you, Jade? I just got one of them M discs. Might be another job for Jade Reporting and Company. If you can read it now, and give me a chance to adjust this stupid decoder player that refuses to obey its master. Gotcha. M disc. Is this a CD player? No, oh, CD. All right. It's Use an M disc decryptor. I've been committed this war. If you accept, please make your way as soon as having completely understood the enormous <clears throat> risk. All right. You know this DeCastellat guy? Huh? Uh, can't go there, Jade. Uh, smells like a trap. Uh, it's too dangerous. Are you loco? We need some dinero to protect us from those kinking dance. Don't you worry, Paige. Everything will be fine. If you want, I'll go along. No, no, it's just okay. We'll go together. But I'm sticking to you like bees on honey, whether you like it or not. Scoot up, check over this computer, and download a complete version of your OS. You'll be able to take a look at it, Jane. As for me, I'll try to get that stupid hovercraft up and running. Now here lies this whole place. Okay, it's working. We are once again connected with El Mundo Exterior. Hmm. I'm also popping my game save. To manually save my game. <clears throat> it's a rather tedious way to save my game, but uh, I guess that's how it was back then. Can't just save your game anytime. Each and every day they stab you in the back. Friend, a brother, a son. New objective. Black Isle or right. Diagnosis. Impression. Okay, let's get at it. Jade Reporting and Company needs to. Let's go. Okay, let's go. I guess we'd better head straight for the Malago garage. Sweet, now I'm in a hovercraft. Oh boy, Mr. Hovercraft ain't doing too good. All right, no doubt in hovercraft. I guess these graphics were considered to be pretty good back in the day. Nowadays, it's, uh, it's alright, I guess. <laughs> Obviously, it's a remaster, well, but... That's it. Oh, no, what happened? Dead. Oh, stupid tugboat! The garage is only 300 meters away. Mama go garage, you know. Where the mama won't go, you know. Come on, my go garage. And so, hey, man. What seems to be the problem? I'll go ahead and tow you to the Mamago garage. Mamago! Oh, it has to tug me. 
Yeah, it's like a tow truck. To it's got a tug in the client, all right. Mama goes to watch. Gotta get out of this Tudor can, Jade. <coughs> yep, it's uh, starting to smell like smoked bacon in here. The hovercraft has to be towed. That's the end bills. That's a safe slot. Let's see. 850. You only got 450. Hovercraft. Units. Page outfit. Nope. How much does this even cost? 1500 for an outfit for him? No thanks. Can't afford that. Can't afford that shit. Let's see, here. Mecha Impulsor. Mecha Impulsor. Now it has a lot of Star Even those cost 150 each. Five pearls for a neutralizing cannon. Damn. I don't have enough for that. Pearls. I mean, I don't have any pearls. Speedcraft motor. Oh, this box up. Got a speedcraft motor here to get up. A speedcraft motor. Oh my god, is that a, supposed to be a Jamaican no guy? Complete with the Jamaican accent. Oh my god. Well done, Yeet. Okay. Of course, they had to have a Jamaican stereotype guy here. <laughs> a Jamaican guy, even with a freaking Bob Marley hat. Alright. 20 pearls. Light stabilizer. Wish I could find for that. Jump kit for 15 pearls. Thirty pearls for this thing. Hey, Bob Scott, what's this? Identification. Okay. Uh, a mecha impulsor increases your vehicle's energy gauge by one wrench. We don't have enough for that. What's this one? Thirty for a space engine. Yep. Oh, I can't afford boy. most of this stuff. I have to save up a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Not just a little bit. I gotta save up a lot for those. But anyways, got to upgrade at least. My hovercraft. Giant sea monster. A giant sea. Well, it's a, it's a giant creature. Let's see that. It's not exactly sea monster, but it's a it's a monster, all right. Final cord are falling off, I guess. <laughs> okay.
Alright. Uh, I think we have to repair, right? Repair here. No, no need for the time being. No, no need for the time being. Oh, I don't need it. Alright, just got a pearl. Oh, that's cool. I can do first person. I can even do first person. That's cool. Let's head back. That's repair shop, which I don't need right now. Hey, Jay! A school of blue scorpion fish. Bet you that an interest in the science center. What happened? Like a police caught me. Oh no, the police caught me and took my money. What the heck? Is that because I shot the other boat? Because I shot the other boat and the police took, came and took my money and fined me? Oh my god. Okay. Miss Jade, Mr. DeCastelac wishes to meet you on <clears throat> Alright. Not exactly oh, okay. a warm welcome. I'm sure the rhinos have got something to take care of. Him. Okay, they don't want me to go over there. Cavern. It's in here. Sweet Jesus, Jade, look oh out. no. Looters. Police are everywhere. What the heck? No, what the heck? I just go into this cave. Stick to them like glue. Like this. Time limit too. Can't mind behind too much. It's the spark that closes the doors. Right. Looking good, looking good. They wouldn't make all that fuss to steal a couple of trinkets. They must be hiding something bigger than that. Good one, Jay. Don't let them out of your sight.
Oh yeah. Finally killed the cop. <laughs> Damn cop. Damn cops stuck it to them. That's right. And I got my credits back. <laughs> Alright, all that was for that. Now what, should we go back? Yeah, let's go back maybe. No! It's another cop. Maybe you can now. Whoa. Pretty nice area. Hey, it's burning over there! The Dom's meteors got through the shields! We gotta be super careful, Jade. Whoops. Is that back where I came from? Hillies. Well, now it's nighttime. Nope. Oh, that's back where I came from. Okay, this way. What? Hillies again? Wait a minute, what the heck? Maybe I just shouldn't go in the tunnels. I think it always goes back up there. Okay. It won't go in the tunnels then. Let's see if I can go somewhere else. We really should have a look at the pedestrian district one of these days. Whatever you want, Jade. Sounds What's good this? To me. One and two. A bit what does that mean? Racist one and two. Was it racist? Guess let's do a race. Yaga, yaga, yaga. <laughs> well, didn't expect this to also be a racing game, but here we are. It's also a racing game, I guess. That's right. Back to the hillies again. Of course. You know, everything leads me back up from here. Go back. This is going to lead me back to hillies again, isn't it? Everything leads me back. You know, there's something else to do here, right? Yep, at least again, yep. We got 
show it good. Land ho, Captain. Black Isle did a hit. Calling for witnesses. Oh, no, I have to go there. Nope, nope, can't go there either. Okay. Uh, anyways, I'll stop here. But this is beyond good and uh, good and, and evil. Uh, this is, yeah, I consider to be, well, probably one of the best hook time to stop me again. Yeah, this is considered to be one of the best adventure games of its era, and, uh, this is the second remaster for the game. Yeah, so there was an HD remaster already, like I said, this is the second, uh, remaster. This version, uh, just came out this year. Looks pretty good. I mean, uh, as you guys can see, like even the water graphics seem pretty decent. Um, it was a pretty good looking game for its time. Um, and yeah, these Sweet Master just uh, you know, touches it up a bit, you know, makes it like 4K and everything for those of you guys who play on uh, 4K and everything. Yeah. Overall, it, it looks pretty decent. Um, overall, yeah, I think it, for the time, it was considered to be pretty uh, revolutionary. Nowadays, it's not like that special anymore, but uh, still fun to play through, I would, I would say, just for nostalgic purposes for those of you guys who played it back in the day. Um, and just a fun game to play through. I mean, this is a game where that, uh, you know, as you guys can tell from the graphics and the animal, um, anthropomorphic animals and stuff, it's uh, not really meant to be taken too seriously. So it's uh, all, you know, it's a game that uh, was, was uh, played by kids, right? So, yeah, it doesn't take itself too seriously, and uh, pretty fun game to play, I would say, if you go back to it. Um, fun game. Uh, yeah, it definitely meant more for, like, uh, younger kids and stuff like that, but uh, still you can go back and play, like, this is still a pretty fun adventure game to play. So, yeah, Beyond Good and Evil 20th Anniversary Edition is probably the definitive version to play now. Uh, with the remastered graphics and everything, and still looks pretty good, actually. Uh, even though this game's like 21 years old now, still looks pretty good with the remaster. Um, obviously, not as good as a uh, modern game, but uh, still, not bad. Remaster isn't bad. So, anyways, yeah, pretty solid game. Uh, at the time it came out, it was considered revolutionary, I guess. I guess. Um, nowadays, it's still pretty solid. Yeah, not like as revolutionary as before, but still pretty solid game to pick up and play. So, check it out, guys. Beyond Good and Evil, uh, 20th Anniversary Edition is probably the, uh, the go-to definitive edition now to pick up. So, so guys, thanks for watching.